Hi, old beaver! Away! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Critscast. Tonight we have for you the Chapelaria Legata Season 1 Grand Final. And uh, for those who don't know what that is, that's um, sort of like a new South American league. Um, and the teams we have, we have, we're, just, we're going to call them Legit Team against Gates Highlander. With me on production is We at Hooft. Uh, my co-casters tonight are Ballsy and our official liaison to the South American portion of the world, Ness. Hello. Um, Hello. Yeah, this is going to be, I've, I've never seen any uh, South American TF2 before, so this is going to be really interesting. Uh, I don't suppose you have a list of the maps there, Solar, that we can go over Oh, we can do the rosters first, maybe. The rosters would make more sense. Do you want to go over the rosters? Uh, sure, I, I, I might go over the uh, the Gates team. And uh, apparently Gates Highlander, they have uh, Flawless on Scout, Bless on Soldier, Durr on Pyro, Fire on Demo, uh, Heavy is Bazinga, the Engineer is called NG, which is not going to get confusing at all, the Medic is called Furthernet, the Sniper is called Dot, and the Spy is... Oh, who's the spy? It's, yeah, I'm seeing blame here on this list. Okay, yeah, blame, okay. Yeah. Cool, we got through one team. Uh, on the legit team, which I'm going to completely uh, like make a mess of the pronunciation, uh, we've got Ninja X on Scout, uh, Jo on Soldier, I, I, I still probably pronounced that completely wrong, NL on Pyro, Legit on Demoman, uh, Capone on Heavy, again, probably pronounced completely wrong. Webs on Engineer, Pepito on Medic, uh, Muyet on Sniper, and Hero on Spy. Uh, I don't suppose, Ness, you, you know quite a lot about these two rosters. I don't know if you could tell us anything about what the players are to uh, look out for and who's, who's going to be the real players that are making, who are making the plays for the team and winning their teams, uh, the rounds in these games. Yeah, I, I know all of those players. I play, but I think from the Gates team, like the player who, who most shine will be Sonicro and Dot. Uh, those both players are like the key from the Gates team. They play this season like very well. They pretty much carry the team. And from the legit team, probably going to be Mudget. Capone and Legit, those and Ninjax, don't forget about Ninjax, and those players are pretty much like they are very good. And so, so this team's got like a lot, like both of these teams are very strong snipers, you would say. Yes. And do, do you think we'll see a lot of sniper showdowns where uh, the, the winner of the sniper v sniper 1v1 will win the like that push? Yes. I pretty much think uh, Mudget will win Dot, but they both are very good. And it's odd to say that, but I don't know who will still win right now, because they are both very good. I think interestingly, it's actually the um, this is sort of a, a preview of the UGC South American Grand Final, which I believe is happening tomorrow. Which sadly we're not covering, but it, it's the same two teams, isn't it? Yes. And I, I believe it was um, it was the Jits team that have got a flawless season going for them so far. So yeah, I think like legit, like if he if he is the carry, I'll be sure to keep an eye on him. Like you know, we know nothing about these players, so I um, think you'll be a big help with uh, choosing like who to go for. But like, do we actually have a map list yet? Do we know? Okay, yeah, I mean, well. like, the man in my ear, Weirhoofed, has just sent me the maps. So we're doing a uh, best of five series, um, not unlike the uh, the land series for the uh, the I series. Uh, we've got Badwater Pro, followed by Asheville, Steel, Product, and Upward. We've, yeah. got, a funny, we've got a funny rule set, actually. Um, if any, everyone's played UGC, the UGC rule set is a best of one on payload and a first of four on five CP, which is, you know, that, 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 that is their rule set. But they've also got a first of four on cough, but with no half time. So we've got, like, Ness could weigh in on the, uh, the, the strange format there. But? A King of Hill played, like, they play in Chapel area. They play, like, the, the just four rounds. Um, and basic, I think that it's... So they play four rounds. and after yeah, that, in a row. yeah, and after just that, whoever rounds. has the most points wins. And, yes. you, and does that mean you can have a draw on King of the Hill? No, you cannot have a draw. 
So it's like Golden Cap on cough. Right. Who gets four rounds first wins, basically? Oh, who gets four oh, rounds first? Oh, first of four, okay, right. Yes, first, first of four. Of four. Okay, right. okay. That makes, so, that makes so, yeah. sense. so first of four with no half time, okay. And and then it's then five CP is also first to four and payload is best of one. Is this, is, that, is that correct? Yes. Okay, that's that's interesting. Um, I, I guess it makes sense. King of the Hill uh, usually you know uh, is over quite quickly and payload is not. So it's probably quite it's going to be quite a nice change of pace to see uh, you know a bit less uh, stalemate payload games. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I like you're saying like these these maps. Well, well, these player, these teams are going to be very sniper focused. Um, who do you, who do you th- what are your predictions, Ness, on these maps? Like, uh, who do you th- what 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 would you say the results would be before we go into it? I think uh, legit team is very strong on payload. I think they are completely going to win this match, like with no excuse. But uh, on cough, it's going to be a a real good match. Both teams has pretty nice DM, and about the snipers, uh, the the both snipers will make the game on cough. So, what about steel? The, the CP steel. Uh, I think it's CP steel is more more a uh, strategic map. Uh, the game will be decided which which team has the keep the momentum and. So outsmart the enemies. Yeah, outsmart the enemies. Thank you. You, you said that Legit was um, a very good demo man. He carried his team quite a lot this season, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. So you think you think that Legit the Legit team is going to be uh, stronger, like much stronger on Steel for that reason? I'm um, pretty much yes, but you think you think that there could be an upset. What? You you think that there's a good chance that um, Gates could win Steel as well? Um, I I really don't know, but I think no. No, no, you think, just you think, think that's no. a, you think that's I think legit so, team so, will will win still. Just like okay. a straight a straight free maps, like no response from Gates, <laughs> but cl- but closer than but than you know it could be. That's what you're saying. Yes. All right. Well, it'd be interesting to see how that prediction pans out. And we're going to be going live soon. I mean, I just want to have a comment here. Like, you know, like you would expect perhaps like someone like legit. Like, I mean, this is just speculation here, but I think a team named after someone on the team, they, they're usually <laughs> going to be a, be a bit of a key player. Yes. So maybe we'll get some legit main calls and see how we coordinate this team, especially on a map like Steel. But we're getting started on Badwater soonish, so. Uh, we'll maybe see uh, players like Dot, like focusing down legit then if he's uh, that, that much of a threat. Um, I mean, there's obviously only so much you can do, um, but uh, they'll they'll know you know the key players on the enemy team. They're gonna there's gonna be a lot of focus then probably on legit, right? I don't think so because they have a, a thing in their mind. They fear the brothers on the legit team, Capone and Mudget. They are both brothers, and they fear more the heavy and the sniper of the legit. Right. Okay. Do you think that Dot could perhaps have a better time tonight? I mean, I know we got the like the legendary South American sniper power was going to be playing for um, for the JIT team, but he's not around tonight. So yeah, could, that, could that maybe could that maybe change the tide of the fights here? Uh, tough question, but I think I think no. All right. So they're strong. They're, I think they're strong I, I trust him. in the these both snipers here. They're gonna do what they can. They do the best. So. This is the grand finals. I think they will make them best. All right, well, we'll see what happens. So the Leg- legit team definitely the favourites, but you know we always like an underdog here at Crits Cast. We've got uh, we got Webs doing his Eureka effect rollout, which is always fun to see. You know, it's always like interesting to see how the metas develop in each region. And I think now we've we've seen a bit of a more of a conversions of the meta around the world. But I've, I again, I've never watched a South American game before in my life. Yeah, so I, I would assume that a team would do a suicide wave here, right? I, um, that's the, the standard thing is, uh, you know, the blue team does a suicide wave while the cart gets pushed up. You know, they've got a bit of time to try and get some sort of advantage before they commit their medic. Um, but is that is that the same thing in South America? I have no idea. I honestly have know nothing about the region. Uh, so it's going to be really, like, I'm curious more than anything to see how the teams, like, play, you know, on, on every map, really. You know, I, it's, just, it's, just, it's just completely new to me. Um, in most of payload, 
They play very aggressive and the defending team do not try to like to rush too much. Like they they stayed pretty safe and do not much of uh, misplays on the game. Like they play very safe. And the attack team just go for the all win. Alright, and right away we got Dot Wayne a sniper fight against Mu yet. And we've got uh, the players walking up Cliff on blue, like just realized they got a chance to walk in. And the soldier bombs in, tries to drop the medic, but he gets a really good direct on him, but it's just not enough. Does get taken down in the end. We've got a tunnel push actually coming out, interestingly enough, from uh, Gates here. Yeah, with the soldier um, down on the side of red, it means that there's going to be less spam down, I guess, is the sort of logic there. Um, the, the down line's not spamming down at the car either. The, the, this could be uh, quite successful if they managed to push forwards, but uh, I don't know. It, it's. Um, there's still a lot of spam coming from tunnel, and uh, the heavy on red is just uh, denying any sort of space that the demon is trying to take. Yeah, Muhinek picks up um, fire at the end there, and Bazinga has to back out. He's on very low HP, and they're just going to try a cliff push probably here. And the spy, the spy is on dot, he does kill him in the end, so there's no sniper presence of blue for a while. Yeah, well, the, you can see that um, with the NG and the sniper down, well, the sniper down on the side of blue, that it's going to be very hard for them to take space on the right-hand side. Usually the engineer protects the sniper as um, you take space along the right-hand side. Uh, it's a, like the flank fight is uh, going very much in the favour of red at the moment. Uh, they're not being able to take very much space at all. It's this. interesting. We haven't seen a single suicide wave yet. Yeah, it's been, it's been very much just a lot of aggression. I mean, the Uber does get used on the floor here. Um, nothing too much happening so far. I mean, they've gotten good damage on the on the sentry, but the gates completely failed. Oh, no, 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 they've got, they got the Uber out on the end. And it looks like that uh, Pito's team just want to collapse on onto the floor here. And they've put lots of players down for both teams. And then Pito's team looking like they want to back out. The heavy's in through the gate, and oh, he's gotten stuck in there. Oh, yeah, Doc managed to pick off the demo line there, and I think that could have been a deciding factor. As soon as that demo line went down, the heavy on the side, the red, decided to go straight through that gate. I think that was the minute they lost the demo line, they knew that they weren't able to hold on to that point. And we're seeing a roof hold here by the looks of things. Um, oh, I mean, I know that Badwater Pro allows you to set up on that roof much easier, but this is, again, not something that we see very much of in Europe. Yeah, it usually just goes straight to third over in Europe, but I think you are right. Dot does want his team to fight. And we have uh, uh, Caponi there, just on the roof there, just taking down the um, the medic and the demo, the heavy, sorry, for uh, Gates High, and they're just completely demolishing any chance of a push there. And they're getting quite aggressive on the staircase here, seeing if they can get any more frags. The demo is very weak, and there's no cart focus right now, there's no gun watching it. And so the heavy has to turn around and watch it, but now the demo is back spamming it, so it should, they should be able to save a lies here. There's a 100% Uber charge on the side of red, and everyone up. Um, this this could be a, like a... a, like a a long hold, let's just say. I, I'm interested to see how uh, Blue go about forcing the supercharge out, uh, whether they do it just through crazy aggression, it seems to be their their strategy. Um, but, oh, like, yeah, there's, they're, they're just like very solid, very happy sitting on this stairwell, denying any sort of roof presence from Blue. Uh, the gun going down um, to the direct hit, I, I, that's something I noticed instead of, uh, obviously since you've not got a, a sack wave coming out, uh, the direct hit's going to be what's the... Oh, what's huge the damage here, legit, the head just pipes everyone off the car. I think the you medic, got the medic there. Yeah, the medic died, I'm not, I, don't, I missed that. Uh, apparently yeah. the medic got sniped. Uh, and the pipe follow-up, that was huge there. And then again, 100% advantage again for Peter over on the JIT, on the JIT's team. Like, it's really interesting, because I haven't I haven't seen a roof hold, like, in high-level Highlander for, like, maybe a good couple of years. Yeah, the back, backstab from the Red Spy, uh, getting the demo man, and it seems that Blue are just feeding over and over again. The Uber comes out as well, trying to chase this medic down. He's 16, 20 health, but it looks like the Blue Medic is able to get out. Yeah, and the Engineer got really good cart time there for Gates during that fight. It's so close to being capped. I think, that, I think they'll be happy with that trade there. Yeah, got, uh, they've got a focus and advantage as well. Yeah, th th this is an advantage for Blue now. Uh, th I think they'll be very happy with that. Um, it, it looks like uh, it's it looks a little bit disjointed, um, Blue. Like, they're, 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 the, the heavy's not with them, though. Here, it like, looks like they've managed to get their whole combo together. Maybe they're going to be able to start taking space from 90%, well, 80 90% now. And they're probably going to look to take a push very soon with this super ad that they know they've got. Yeah, I mean, Capone, like, seems to be taking so many heals right now, he's just being the sentry gun, mobile sentry gun, and I'm interrupted here by the Uber coming in from Gates here, forcing them all off the roof. And they're being forced back out through a choke here. The Spy's on the mob, but doesn't quite get the stab. But still they have still a very successful Uber charge. Um, 
I'm sure they've got the disadvantage now, but they managed to get the capture. They, this gives them forward spawns. That's one of the changes that Badwater Pro adds in. Yeah, the um, counter and, comes out for a choke here. Yeah, I think, I think um, a little bit late. Trying to spawn counter medic. It does get him in the end. Oh There's goodness. legit there. He's jumping all the way through and piping the medic down. This, this is so aggressive, this play. It's so good as well. It, this is very, very good aggressive play from both teams. Um, I mean, Ness wasn't lying. This is, yeah, this is aggressive meta. You would, you would never see like oh, a look, team... Oh, look where they're holding as well. You would never see, you'd never see a team holding like this after the lost um, second on Badwater. That's crazy. Yeah, you would, like, because ba Badwater third is such a good hold. I'm sure it's Even it's stock worse. Badwater you wouldn't be holding this, let alone forward sports. This is an insanely aggressive play here. Yeah. But it, like, it just seems that Mujek... Oh, and the, the pick from um, Mujek there. Legend to get the Medic, which is very, very big again. 65% add. It's going to be up to about 80 by the time the blue spawns or something like that. Yeah, they're and choosing to just like Gao off of that Medic pick there. They got, they're, they're, they're going to take a trade here, so they can just back out quite easily to third. Yeah, again, a very, very forward position, having the Medic this far forward, having the Heavy this far forward. Um, usually you'd see the Heavy standing on the balcony behind, but they're obviously electing to have the Heavy just take like, all the heals in house, here. like this aggressively. Look at this uber shot, this is so aggressive, we've got the demo going forward as well. Legit looks like he wants to try and bomb the medic, but he got um, denied by the pyro. He will retry just to chase it. And the medic is so very weak, we can just get one roll on him maybe. Vernet does get out on just 20 health. And that was oh, the medic Pepito on red down going well. down to the blue soldier. It's a very, very important pick for Badwater third. Uh, the team's looking to back out. Oh, the NG, the NG got backstabbed too. I oh, blame. Like, yeah, this is going to be a very hard point to hold on to for Red. Um, it, would, it really depends on... Well, that said, the blue <laughs> medic goes down to... The, yeah, this picks is coming out left, right and centre here. Honestly, this is such aggressive TF2. Like, yeah. The sniper was speaking... Like, he traded his life for it, but he got the frag. Dot getting legit. Oh, the, the snipers on both teams are really like, lighting up here. Like we said, like you know, there was no power um, sniping, but, you know, maybe we don't need power, well, but the then Papillo... Oh, the WM1. There's just no, no one's letting up. There's just everyone at every opportunity. They see an opportunity. They go in. They they take like trades. They it's crazy. This is much more exciting than the European Highlander, and we got <laughs> we got the the dot winning the snow fight against me yet. Yeah, yeah and like... with, with this advantage as well for blue. Um, like and and picks. Oh, be so body shot. To dot. Uh, yeah, oh, but fi and, um, Fire as well, getting um, uh, Ninyaks and uh, the Soldier there, just really good work. And yeah, the, it, the cart is slowly being pushed all the way through, and there's eight people up for Blue right now. And, like, there's only five up, four up, sorry, for yeah, the team of Legit. It's going to solidify this. Then, like, they, there's no point of Red pushing back in, because they'll just get destroyed by the overcharge. And th I think they're looking, like, Blue are going to be looking to take this through into last, I imagine. They've got a huge advantage to work with. Yeah, Fall has taken down uh, Mujet as well on the flank, so it be quite difficult for them to really deny this uber charge with both their assassination classes down for them. Because like, Eero's dead as well. So it's, it's going to be very difficult. It's all on the pyro here. Oh, Drop. but no. Scout, never mind. Scout comes in and drops the medic. That was so good. Like, he, he, he must have Stepping taken some damage team. or something else. That was incredible. Yeah, apparently the soldier's also spamming. I was the, the medic just died from 130 health. I never even saw him, his health even go down to. Uh, yeah, look at the aggression from, um, from from Caponi here. And he just, he's getting tanked, taking out all of the um, defenses that the blue team has set up against them. And then they can just solidify on ramp here. Yeah, like you've, if you've managed to get the um, the sentry gun in a very aggressive spot that supports the combo, and they've got all like the demo man spamming and the heavy there for denying. Oh, but the heavy goes down and the uber Uber's forced, forced out for red. I mean, yeah, the pirates and I in the corner as well. They won't be getting anything from this. Yeah, medic's way back out on third. The only you know, hope that red has is a spy play, and the spy's down right now. So, but the only casualty on blue team being the sniper. We're looking to walk forward here. They got fifty percent advantage. But there's good spam coming out from the JIT on the corner here, denying this ground, at least for now. Yeah, it's, it's going to be very hard, like, there's there's quite a lot of, like, picks that you need to push back. Oh, they're pushing map room. Got the entire combo and a soldier walking through map room here, looking for she's a buff banner as well. And the Uber's popped yeah. out on demo. It's, it's launched to the moon by the sentry gun. <laughs> I've not and seen a map room push like that in a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, like, banner soldier, like, this is... 
Yeah, the med med medics just died to the spy as well during that push. Uh, mm. A lot of picks. Oh, so they want to try and play the cart here. The sentry's being built. We are getting with medic there. No heals and the sentry's up and now it's going to be quite difficult to get a lot of cap time here. The respawn wave will be coming back in from red. Just, these are no hold spars pushes. Like, they, they just all commit like so hard to these pushes and you end up with these really scrappy DM fights. Um, or like, oh, it's, it's so good to watch. It's sort of like watching like old Highlander, like, you know, 2011-ish, when you had um, the old American scene. I can't remember the team names now, but yeah, it's just d a DM fest, basically. It's really fun to watch. Yeah, the, the, there's a lot of spam coming from legit now as well. No picks coming out, though. A lot of um, picks coming out on the side of blue, actually. Um, but legit was doing so much damage. Looking like Blue is wanting to take uh, their uh, team through map them again. Very I mean, the heavy's been spammed out as well. He's going to be a sandwich on the floor there. And <laughs> and we, yeah. we saw the way that when they pushed, oh, we are getting the demo. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw the way that when um, they pushed through map room, uh, the way that uh, the sentry gun and the pyro denied the Uber so so well, the medic couldn't follow outside map because it would just be going and Ubering onto no one. And I was very surprised after that to see so many kills coming out on the side of blue. Looks like they want to take a trade here, um, the Jits team do, as they're walking in. But the further net is so far away, I mean, I doubt people want to pop here. Unless Legit goes another hero play with his pipe jumping, but... There were just pipes no. flying legit like, either side of the well. right, um, like... And look, they're, they're, just, they're just ignoring the Jit behind... Oh, the Meg's behind them as well, this is very interesting. The Medics and the Jit are stuck behind them on third point. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And yeah, the medic getting out as well. Very That's just insane. Just walks out from like from lockers all the way through. It's just yeah. I, I guess that um, the combo and blue are more like interested in uh, keeping their medic alive. Um, their medic had a, like full Uber charge advantage, and they knew. They, they, oh, this the, is the, the time push. Oh, then the bad water pro staircase. They're walking their entire team through spiral here. You can, we can do on this version of the map. They're, they're taking the Uber into them, and the, oh, the Kunda has got taken out um, by the engineer as well. So that's, like, they're just looking for him now, and further nets down as well. They, to the jump from the that was like as they knew that there was uh, that there was going to be a push coming in there, and as soon as they knew, they backed right out, let them take the Uber charge, use it on the gun, and Red didn't lose very much at all to that Uber charge. And as, mm. as you can see, legit is like right in this choke point. Uh, killing off the sniper, taking the space, stopping Blue from really getting into the last point at all. Yeah, it's very difficult to take an Uber into fr from Spiral into Map Room, which is where um, the Jits team rotated into, and they're going to Uber straight back into through the choke point here. Try and get further now, who is down so weak, and a scout does clean him up. Uh, the Heavy going down, the Demo going down too. This is... Oh, but the Medic at the end there, he was going down to the um, Sonicro M1, and there's just there's only three people alive for each team. This is crazy. There's so much commitment. You would never see that many people committing to uh, to a bush like that. Like, it's crazy. And everyone's going to be alive. Sure, there's going to be some like disadvantage, maybe thirty percent disadvantage. Um, or well, it's not been building very well, so it's probably more like twenty percent disadvantage now. But there's not really much to work with for blue. And possibly like everyone's so aggressive anyway. I don't think the Uber is going to even matter at all. We do see a scout trying to work his way through Shadow, just just distracting the Jit from this like onslaught of tickies launching onto the onto the combo of fire and further net. And uh, they're, again, they're just pushing around the corner, no fear. Yeah, uh, what happened there was Fire. Uh, it looked like he would have won that fight, and uh, he managed to stick um, legit in. But the, the heavy just decided, oh, I'm just going to commit to this fight as well. <laughs> you know, like it's just crazy, crazy aggressive play. If we do see with, uh, the scout trying to work his way through tires, so see if he can make some space for his team. I think that's, that's one thing. Uh, oh, the jit does go down as well to the soldier, so the flank play was successful. And now they're, they're doing the tires push again, and the heavy is caught in here alone. That's uh, Capone going down to the tires push here, and they have 100% Uber in the bank way to work with. Yeah, this, this is what you need, I think, to have a successful last push. They managed oh, to get yeah, the engineer guns. this time. Um, they've only really got the sniper holding top right. The sniper is very, very important to, to like stop doing work on this point. Um, oh, the soldier and the scout spamming from map room do take down further net. I wonder if it'll be enough to stop this push in the end. But no one's focusing the soldier and oh, Bless does get, does get him in the end. The and he's got his buff banner, banner pin. It's, it's just Bless all against the world here as he can try and just get some... And he does get the force out though. So that, that's enough. That's all he wanted there. Saving the, uh, the next push for his team. 
Yeah, with the combo alive for red, uh, I think this is stabilization again. It's crazy, crazy to have this many kills coming out and no bad water last cap. If if you are two or three players up on bad water last, you've probably lost the round, but like most of the time. But that's happened what two or three times so far, and uh, yeah, I mean both stabilized. Teams. Both teams are having no one up on the spiral medic. Oh, there we go. Hero does get fun with the biggest face stab of my life. I think that's that's the high pings coming in from us. I mean, I don't know the the spy. It's got a decent thing. I think it's just maybe our perspective. Yeah, like again, you see like picks coming out here and there for both teams. Um, is a sniper pick enough to push last off of? Uh, I don't know if it depends. I don't think Blue are able to even get in because Legit's just spamming that hard. It's really strange to see because you see both teams playing so slowly when there's Ubers in the game. Um, equal Ubers. But then as soon as there's any kind of advantage on it, we'll just go this aggressive into them. And look, we've got the Pyro walking in with his Uber trade all the way yeah, through. Yeah, we've seen, we've seen, like, the, we've seen Red Team pushing right into thirds about three or four times. And I would still say that this is, like, I mean, I guess the time for red has been quite good, uh, but this has been quite a close game, I would have said. I mean, we, you say that, but we don't really know what the standard of the times in this is South America, you know? No, I would, We've got I would no guess idea. it was, uh, you'd usually see lower times in this sort of play. I mean, I'd, 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 yeah, there's only a minute left as well for Blue to try and get this last point, so we're probably going to see some play coming with this 90% uh, over charge. If they, if, they, if they take the, the Uber in straight away, they might even be able to catch Red out, but I don't, I don't know if they're not really in the position to do so. Yeah, they're in map and Red are ready for them, I think. The trade comes in through main, actually, in the end. But they've already flashed three people in, and the Uber is coming out as a solo, uh, mostly on the, on the uh, demo of Legit here. And then there's uh, Capone just taking out everyone at the end. Yeah, and the so Pirate, the oh, pirate oh, in oh, as well, jumps down, does get the medic, the medic pick. It's crazy. And there's, the red team are quite weak as well. They're heavy sandwiching up now, though, so maybe he'll come back up, you know, yeah. full health. They, they want to try and death all the car here, but a huge bomb from uh, from Joe here just takes down everything. Two up the rank inside of red. Up. Two, two up. Heavy's oh. weak, the demo's weak. They've just got the spy to spawn. Yeah, the spy's going to try and get some cat time. Of course, heavy can't really shoot very well over that car here. And here comes um, uh, Bazinga here, just walking in through a choke, taking out the heavy. Yeah, the, the spawn has come inside the red. The spy managed to pick off the demo man. We still got I... overtime though, potentially, if we can get some push. But I mean, it's just legit on the cart all by himself. Falls in at the end, but the pirate is going to murder everything on this cart. Yeah, and that will be. Um, they got yeah, no last push here for Gates Highlander, so. That means that Legit now has eight minutes just under to cap third, or if they fail to do that, they can just cap last. That was yeah. a crazy game. Um, it was crazy, just, just the amount of aggression to come out. Like, it's like it's like it's like everyone's just like duct tape the W key down. That's what yeah, it feels I, like right now. I think we describe like Highlander in South America is madness. It, yeah, <laughs> I think that's accurate. <laughs> I don't I mean, know. It's an absolute um, nightmare just to cast things. There's, there's always something going on. Like, you know, normally yeah. there's like, in European TF2 at least, you know, there's usually like someone's doing something and then it's quite sequenced and you expect things to happen. But there were like times where like there would be half of the blue team like just sat behind um, legit on red there as they took an Uber in and they'd just like get flank picked like the Pyro and Assault would just, would just hide and just go in like during the fight as well. Just absolutely incredible to watch. Just like it, it's it's it strikes me strange just how teams can be so aggressive but just not have suicide waves. It's like the, just a, a pure DM fest. Three, two, one. So the gates do open right now, and we have uh, looks like a suicide wave maybe coming out from the jet. Yeah, the medic staying in spawn here. Um, oh, the, the classic European strategy here: this heavy getting whipped all the way through tunnel. Oh yes. And the, instead of jumping, they're just spamming the gun. Uh, they got a spy sat there and they just spammed the gun. Um, are we going to see any sort of suicide plane? Yeah, the soldier comes in. I mean, the heavy oh. behind does take the pyro. And the, the blue sniper is on the, uh, well, it's uh, on the rock there and takes down the uh, further net there. That's a really good sightline to have a sniper or heavy. It takes down the enemy sniper as well of dark. So it should be an easy so push for pressure. them. So much pressure from blue onto the reds uh, medic there. Uh, I, I don't know about you, but I'm getting a bit of lag on the server. Uh, 
Yeah, that's yeah. completely demolished that defense there. Yeah, uh, it was very, very good. Uh, everyone, they, they, oh, and you can see this blue devil man coming right in. Oh, they're denying any hold. The pyro, oh, the pyro and the the demo there just walk in and kill him. That's tragic. They were trying to get a roof hold, but um, the medic didn't want to hold roof. So again, the, the, their team was stuck half in, half out, and then they just ended up doing neither. Like hold roof or go third, and neither happened. So this should be maybe even a third point here. Yeah, there's no, there's no people on red. There's no players on red uh, on third. And the soldier well, he gets picked off by fire. Um, maybe, maybe we'll see uh, that red managed to reclaim this third point. But the heavy on blue is really wanting uh, to deny that and managed to get flawless easy. on the NG. There's yeah. no sentry for third. And the spy got the demo before that fight as well on the red team. So they're going to walk straight through this choke point here. And again, they. Um, Gate ha oh, the Pito down from Dot, but Gate has to defend this point here. It's six minutes left. If they cap it within the next six minutes, they win. So they have to get forward here. They've got no heals on, on the side of, um, of Legit's team. So get this is Gate's chance here, so maybe we take this. There's yeah, very few up. Fire's getting really aggressive. He's on his own. The Pyro realizes it. Yeah, they have to block this. There's so few up for Gates here. And yeah, this oh, will yeah. be a cap. That's GG for upward. That's I think very, they, very fast. Upward? At bad balls, or even they're basically the same map. I mean, they're, they're a pair with four points, right? <laughs> that that aggression, they, they never let up at all. Um, did uh, legit's team that was very, very uh, good aggression. I've not seen good like aggression like that in a long time. Um, just seems like, like, I think Gates, Gates team just got out DMs pretty much. It's so strange to see a payload map that's um. This is decided so much by DM as opposed to anything else. Yeah. If you um, think if you think payload was like this DM fast way to see the the calf map. Of course, we got Asheville next, haven't we? Which is just a retextured version of Coal Plant for the most part, but it's changed just a little bit. Apart from that, I mean, it's Coal Plant's got got an open lobby and it's hard to rotate. But we're we gonna have a look got, at the logs. Yeah, we've got some logs to look at here. Um. I have to say, these damage per minute numbers on just about everyone were quite high. Um, <laughs> just to start us off with, uh, usually it's not it's not like unheard of to see you know three hundred DPM or whatever on Scout and Soldier, but but everyone's got that, and uh, but, and, and, and to, to get that in a, in a twenty minute round of bad water as well is quite astounding. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, you can see like there's a why legit is uh, has got a, his team named after him, I guess. Uh, uh, crazy KAD, uh, 500 DPM, uh, it's very, very good. Um, the sniper, again, I think uh, Ness's prediction was right that Muya was going to uh, be doing a lot more work. Um, what really get, gets me, though, is um, is despite the just pure chaos that was ensuing throughout the entire game, Pepito only had 8 deaths compared to Furthernet's 17. And Pepito getting 28 assists during that as well. Yeah. Yeah, I, just having like your medic alive will help you win fights. So uh, Mapito has uh, has got more healing per minute, uh, you know, by quite a, a crazy amount. And more Ubers, like fifteen Ubers versus six Ubers, and two, that's crazy having having that difference. Uh, like nine more Uber charges <laughs> on Bad War. Uh, mm. That's that's crazy to have that, and uh, it's obviously because uh, when. Uh, Legit's team were holding, they were wanting to push forward and kill the medic, and they did that so reliably. And so they're just going to get more Uber charges and they're going to stop Red from getting Uber charges. Yeah, I think what really uh, cost Gates the, the perhaps even the last push, if, like, you know, not going to talk about times, just, just, just pushing last, um, was that they had 80% Uber advantage and they had the frags. But then, for like the the only time during this entire game, they they just sat outside tires, not doing anything. And I think they they could have really have gotten in, like doing that tires push. They they had done that tires push that they had done at the end of the game it was almost it was almost successful, even with the relatively even player counts. If they had done that on you know after capping third, they would have maybe even capped last. Yeah, well, it, it just seemed that um, legit's team was completely all over everything. That Gate was trying to do, um, like when they did push through tires and they w went down spiral staircase, that Uber got kited completely. The first push, uh, it was all used on a sentry gun that was then rescue ranged out. It, it was like and we just saw that time and time again. It it was very clear who was in control of that game. 
I mean, it, it's reminiscent of the um, of the rotations we saw earlier tonight from CJ. Even before the push would even happen, they were already stood in map room. Yeah, you know, they, they were just so quick to rotate off of that, and I think that's probably the key difference between these two teams. I think maybe we got we got the as predicted the, the legit main calls on his team um, are yeah. superior. Like you know, Gates have got good DM and aggression, but I think they're just again. But I know it's quite hard to coordinate in this chaos, but even just like saying where to stand, I think is enough in in such a chaotic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, it like it was very clear that um, when uh, gates were pushing, um, they were pushing because that was their one opportunity to do so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they they didn't have that. They they weren't in control. The minute if um, if if Gates were doing anything. It was because Legit's team allowed Gates that opportunity, and then they kited it. You know, it, it was it was so much control of the game. Kind of so, sort of like mind games coming out from uh, from Legit there. Yeah. So I, this is a bit of a you know a, a different map. Um, yeah, I, 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 it's very very demo heavy, and I, I I would probably from what I've seen say that. This is going to be another like map for le- like legit's team. To be honest, like um, with with like the the rotations that are possible in Asheville and uh, you know how strong Demoman is on it, I I could see legit's team really pulling through. What what do you guys think? I think I think it might be a bit closer because we saw on Gates the um the soldier for Gates bless. I mean him and the pyre are top fragging, and of course Asheville is as we already up. Asheville is a map where you can just sit on top of the roof as Pyro, and have your soldier as well. And that could be potentially pretty potent. So I think it might be closer, potentially, than what we've been seeing so far. Uh, well, we're seeing um, Demoman rolling out now. Uh, Dem- uh, legit choose- oh, no, Fire choosing to go onto ramp, and uh, Legit choosing to go underneath. Um, so, yeah, a bit of a different choice here. Yeah, it's uh, okay. for me as well. Yeah, we've got a bit of technical difficulties here, and uh, I mean, there's not really very much happening right now. A few trades going either way, uh, but it's uh, mostly... Oh, but now you, you see uh, the uh, heavy taking out, you know, going walking forward with this scout and taking out a lot of uh, gates, and the, the, this is clearly a one mid-fight for... Uh... Oh, I was saying that Bless manages to get Pepito right at the end of the fight. I guess... <laughs> My yeah, I, I would have. Oh, I, I started saying this was clearly a one fight for um, for Legit's team, but uh, well, we've yeah. had Carter's curse the entire evening. <laughs> uh, this is reminiscent of the uh, of the strong opinions game earlier. It was the exact same story. I call I call an advantage was for, for a team, and then instantly be taken away from them. There's still quite a lot of lag from the server here, um, but yeah, it's it's it, yeah. It, I I I think that. Uh, there's a lot of a lot more control from uh, Legit's team at the moment. Still, uh, you can see. Well, I say that uh, the, the, there's a lot of uh, picks coming out from uh, Red. My legs have been absolved, so I can relieve you of your radio cast. Oh, uh, Gates are going to take a push on this point. They've gotten so many frags onto Legit's team. It's only really the combo with the engineer up. Um, but yeah, like we um, we just got pushes coming in all the time and. <laughs> Again, like we say that, we try and get advantage on the point, but the counter push comes out almost immediately. And that's just Legit's team dominating the area around the point. We're not, we're not seeing many plays uh, through under at the moment, are we? We saw um, we saw Legit playing under for the mid-fight. Uh, I said that uh, just as uh, the heavy is walking yeah. through under. Um, but it, we've not really seen any proper rotations through under or any, or any big team plays through it. Legit is very, very far forward, managing to force out the Uber charge. The gate's taking the trade in. Yeah. Um, the, yeah, this Pyro in the mini century rank would completely deny it. But I say that, but Muyet does get fire at the end. So yeah, there's no, there's not a chance here for Gates to come in. Oh, the sniper on Red's peeking now. He's looking right at the medic and he gets a body shot into the down man. Yeah, I think that's all the opportunity he's going to get. Is legit. is all over that choke point now. Yeah, this mini century on the roof. That like. Um, Asheville, it's so hard to deal with this mini century, it's denying so much ground. Like, you know, if you take it down, you can just rebuild it straight back up again. You know, coal plant, it's it's a threat on coal plant, but I think it's more so on Asheville because it's hard to stand because the angles of the roof is different. And it even, like, the soldiers bombing the engine, that's how desperate they are to get rid of this mini century. And I say that, uh, further, let's go down to the spy. 
of a hero as Legit well. Legit dying is, is quite big as well. Legit going down at the scout. He was very far forward with his medic way back on ramp and Gate is just standing right in the middle of this point. Um, trying to do as much damage as he can. But the Pyro manages to die quite a bit, a bit of that. Um, yeah, a few picks coming out from me yet. Yeah, uh, respawn now because they own the point. Um, and I mean, there, there was a bit of con a big, big uh, point contest there coming out, but didn't really do too much in the end. It, it got, looks like um, eight or one to walk forward. I mean, bless his spamming. Oh, he's doing a splendid job of spamming from the uh, balcony area here onto the combo. I want to see a jump from him and see if he can get there. And that's exactly what he's going to do, he's going to jump straight onto, well, well, the medic was, but it's just a dispenser to meet him now. So little health from the red medic, and he manages to get the pack and get right out. That was so close to being a medic pick. For, Beat him down uh, the scout yeah. as well, Flawless just running him onto him on the yeah, point there. And this, and this is Gate's chance. This is, this is almost full uber-charge advantage to Red now. Oh, but they have to get on the point, it's overtime now. Overtime. They will uh, I think, do I think, that. I think they'll be fine, they've got so many picks. Oh my goodness, um, blue sniper there coming forward and killing them, like, dropping the medic. That was full ubercharge advantage wait, that was lost needs, there. Who needs power when you got Mu yet, you know? Just doing the hero shots. Yeah, that was very good. I I, I think uh, that Legit will probably still, or Gates will just, like, have a chance at holding on to this still. But we've seen how good Blue's aggression has been. Um, I think when this ubercharge comes out, uh, this team will be. Uh, this is oh, going to no, be a point no demo for blue. fire taken down oh. by the spy here, hero. Not even yeah. need the Uber charge apparently. Oh, the spy is trying to get. In. He does get the medic, but you know it's not really a pick you want to go for at this Bless point in the game. Doing oh, but God's never mind. Work. <laughs> Bless just once again has predicted carrying his team, just getting all the point, all the frags on the point. But will it be enough? There's only two people alive, and a superior respawn almost coming out yeah, from the side of the Yeah, if this goes to legit, this is this is uh, the point. This is the uh, round, and it looks like. Uh, yeah, I was around. If I uh, like, almost got the hero play, but sadly it just was too many people to deal with. Yeah, it was, it was a real tough call for uh, Gate to try and hold that point for 2 minutes 30 with how aggressive uh, Legit has been playing. Both times are at about the same time here, and uh, Legit opted for the shutter rollout as opposed to Fire, who will choose the uh, the balcony rollout, and Dot already winning the sniper fight against Mui yet. You know how much of a threat he's been so far today. We've got an awkward heavy fight on the barrels, of course, as always on Asheville. Both teams just sitting in their chokes here, but legit wants to walk forward, and they've gotten some good frags. Well, that's spike fire, fire down fire as well. There. I think that, that's going to be very, very difficult for. Uh, yeah. But look at the positioning here from Blue. I mean, they have to really like walk forward hard to like try and retake this ground, and bless the spy them out on the right hand side. But both teams are so timid to try, to try and get some cap time here. It's not like we've been seeing this entire game. Yeah, it's it's kind of strange to see Legit uh, being so hesitant. I would have thought that the minute they had that advantage of the snipers, they would have been all over them the way they have been. But it was quite um, it was quite a slow mid that they played that time. Yeah, and Dot once again beating Muya in the SVS, and the Ubers coming in as well, both popped about the same time. Um, but I think uh, oh, Legit might get caught in here from the pyro. No, he gets hit off safety. Flying. Oh, he gets out. Oh. I would like to see him go to the sky, but it's quite a satisfying thing to see. But look at look at the frags on both teams here. There's so many down. Uh, with with a heavy next to the medic, it's going to be very hard for uh, Pepito to uh, get picked off here right now. Though I uh, said that the sniper is looking right next to uh, where Pepito's holding. And Dot so far has been in this round have been dominant over Muya and for the entire game from the looks uh, of things. Saying that right is. Uh, Mia yeah, gets a 2k. Comes, yeah, gets a soldier and then she. It's going to be quite difficult to defend against yeah. this. I mean, there was a jump coming across. I mean, like, Doc got the heavy at the end there, but it's, it could still be anyone's fight. Oh, never mind. There goes Mia yeah. taking down further. Yeah, legit also manages to get a lot of damage onto the down man and the heavy at the very start of that fight, uh, which was very key to them winning that exchange. Yeah, I think like, the people to watch here are, are just Doc. Um, Sonicro and um, the soldier here, yeah, like blessed, like they're all just have been doing, been playing so well this game. You know, uh, they, oh, the Uber, the Uber aggressive into, like that, yeah. into the lobby area. I mean, it didn't really find much, but you know, this is the aggression they want to see from both of these teams. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're only putting themselves at like a fifteen percent disadvantage. 
right now. Like it's not that bad. Uh, it was maybe maybe they thought it was worth like, the uh, the arbitrage of the chance of getting the medic pick. Oh, well, I know. Oh, yeah, further was... down to Joe. Oh, that's really painful. That is. Yeah, they're doing a lot of work there on the flank. It's a very, very big flank now, Asheville, because you can't really, you can't really control the flank on Asheville. So, like, yeah, the flank right, is just allowed uh, to go forward and do whatever they really want, as long as uh, they right, have. An, an interesting heavy one v one. We had um, Bazinga try and sort of stair stab uh, Capone with his mini gun. There <laughs> didn't work out too well for him, but you know, he tried it. That's what I like to see. I like to see like interesting heavy fights, you know. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that, um, that you, you, you were saying earlier that uh, it's very hard to deal with this mini sentry. Uh, I've not, I mean, it's been there pretty much all game, and I don't think Red's managed to have any sort of presence there. Oh, the sniper, the, the dot you, you know, to just, just, just as we say, they've got no presence, we've got a medic drop. Yeah. And look at the, um, the aggression coming out, the counter aggression coming out. Well, never mind, the pyro is dead. There will be some cap time coming out here, but potentially. Very, very scrappy DM fight right now. This, this mini might win in the round, actually. It's being tanked by Webs as well on the roof. It's going to be yeah, so yeah. difficult to take Dead man is very weak on the point. The spy's on him. Oh, he cloaks and runs away. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. We've got, we got Webs, the hero engineer, just taking out everything there on that point. And we've got a spy one we want to decide the game. Yeah, that, uh, oh. that engineer play. The, the engineer did so much work there. Uh, mini century sadly ruined the spy 1v1. <laughs> Sorry, oh, we, we, we want a spy MG to decide like the Platinum Grand Final. Both teams seeming to roll out the same way this time, uh, which will be our first. Uh... Fire opting for a balcony rollout. Should maybe try and counter the um, the Jits team push onto balcony, but no, they're they're sitting under. And look at the scout and pirate just walking forward, getting so much damage onto the combo here, but no no crucial frags for them just yet. I'd say that, but the, yeah. the collapse. Look at that. Both yeah. teams again. Like it seems like no one values their life at all. It's, on that was team. exclusively support classes up from both teams there. <laughs> That was, that was the engineer, medic, sniper, and spy up for both teams. Uh, it's a very, very strange combination of classes to see. Uh, apparently, the medic, engineer, sniper, and spy for uh, legit's team are superior, so they managed to take the mid. I mean, you got to win that. You got to win the support fights, you know. Maybe we should have that a, a just format of just support classes. That would hmm. be interesting. Uh, you see this engineer wrangled uh, on the left side, on the left roof here, for a blue. Uh, denying so much they stop in the fight from getting in. Eventually gets picked up for the sniper and he's uh, uh, red. Gate, gates want the gate, they want the trade here, they drop their heavy, but and the pyro's in on the Uber shard as well. But the superior flashing coming out here and the jits jump behind trying to stick them off. Oh, and look so at look at this, damage. everyone just getting launched around the place by the jit stickies there. Yeah, and you can you can see the heavy there coming back in and clearing up any sort of damage that has been done as well. Just the eight hundred IQ the there during a messy Uber shard as demo just jump behind, stick mm -hmm. everything off. Yeah, it was it was a very good overcharge. Um, they, and the the flashing that Pepito did was much much less than that of Ferlinet. Oh, well, look at the aggression here. Like um, Capone is on the other team's balcony. That's heavy. Yeah, this is quite a unique spot. You can see that the sniper is on uh, like oh, is, oh, is on the other team's balcony as well. They've got the heavy and the sniper holding together, which is quite a deadly combo to be honest. Um, yeah, I mean you got covering each other's weaknesses there. Oh, that, that being said, uh, Bless comes in and picks off the sniper, which should open things up. And the scout picking off uh, the heavy. Oh, the heavy's out of ammo as well. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, another Uber again. Like, look at how aggressive this is. Look at where the pirate is. Is he going to chase nice? I mean, it's yeah, no I mean, uh, there, but... they're, 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 they're one step shy of spawn camping there, you know? Like... Yeah, uh, it's seventy-five percent. Oh, the pirate behind the computer. Oh, oh just yeah, mistimed there. Might Only half health. The pit. This is, this is, um, Uber, this is like, one of the first times that we've seen Uber, real Uber advantage from Red now. Um, Hero is like, looking for a stab, and they believe his disguise as well, actually. He's, he's looking to come back around, like, no one thinks he's a spy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, they Uber charge here, that uh, embarrassing death avoided for the combo. Yeah, that, that was not the best Uber, though. It was mostly used to stop people from dying. They didn't really, they weren't able to really use it aggressively. Capone has um, pipes at the end though, so that's maybe. But the, the legit's back in with heals yeah, and his medic. Yeah, he timed Just, that. He knew when it faded. He came right back in and started doing damage to everyone and everything on the point. Complete dominance here from legit's team. 
you know, uh, as, 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 coming as, in and seeing if he can do any work here. Um, I mean, it's, it's one before. Like, you're not going to do that much to scout. Yeah, the arrows from Pepito just like, keeping legit healthy. It yeah, is like the, the dominance from legit here. Yeah, look, look, here's here. another aggressive Uber we're going to see here. Right, there you go. There's, Uber comes out and. Ten seconds left as well. Yeah, it's. Is this going to be an opportunity for uh, Gate to take place on the point? I don't know. No, like. No, this is this is it. Look at this. That's just the how, amount of damage on did, the point. How did um, Capone get into that position uh, time and again on the enemy balcony? <laughs> I, I've got I, I no idea. That like, it's yeah, heavy. It was, yeah, you uh, maybe you just like use the Ubercharge as like cover to get into a stupid position like that. I have no idea. But yeah, um, with, with with this um, with this uh, rule set, we're actually our first of four. There's no half time either on this cop. So if we get a four round comeback, maybe coming out here, that's what I want to see. Yeah, um, bless is sure on the enemy possible. medic. He's walked all the way through, but he just misses that last rocket there. Does not get the medic pick. Should be a mid fight here for the Jets team. Yeah, there's oh, the soldiers on the medic now. Um, makes him very weak in the scout. Manages to clean up for a minute. Yeah, he died so late there as well. That's going to be disastrous for the next push. Yeah, this is going to be a full overcharge for... Capone uh, Capone like, opting to sound the control point as opposed to going to his flank position. But it looks like he wants to walk through shutter here. Maybe chase the scout out. Yeah, Capone is going back to his spot. His spy is looking to pick him off here. Oh, and he misses the stab! <laughs> I thought that was like a sure stab for, uh, for BLM. Capone is just too good, dude. Just dodging all those spy backstabs. Yeah, he, he turned around at the last moment. It was maybe a little bit tricky. I'm not sure. Um, Uber comes out from blue in just the enemy shutter. Showing them absolutely no respect in yeah, there on their balcony. And guys doing that as well. Yeah, I think I said they were one step short of spawn camping last game. Maybe we're going to actually see some spawn camping. The engineer's behind only one health trying to kill the medic. Yeah, Does not all that. I did, it was so unfortunate. The medic flew right over the engineer's head there, and about twenty health. And, he, and, and the ed, poor engineer, like, had, had, didn't have a clue where the medic was. Uh, but all, all he needed was like half of a meat shot. The legit team opting not to go for the spawn camp and instead back out to the point here. Quite wise, considering they, you know, do still have a medic to protect. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised though to see this supercharge getting like you see legit's just wanting to walk into them and do the damage. They've got 95% Ubercharge. Yeah, the heavy's dead for them as well. He wants to just hold W again. Yeah. And oh, but look, look how far back Furthernet is though in the lobby area. They, they use they, the they Uber. Know, they know what's coming. <laughs> they know legit's going to try and walk. But no, no, legit's been completely denied here. Like despite the Franks going down in um, the favour of legit. What, legit got out? That's insane. That's a, yeah. And further down to Muja as, as well again. Like, just complete dominance. He gets a demo as well. Complete dominance coming out here. We'll see if anyone goes down to the teleporter being camped. <laughs> yeah, it's very... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that, uh, like, Gate isn't able to use this. Like, because I, I think that if they're, they're doing this repeatedly and so predictably, it's, it's going to be very hard for... It, it's very hard to, to keep, like this sort of advantage. I think it, it, it really is clear just how scrappy these fights are by the fact that, you know, the pyro for the Jits team, like, is fighting the medic for top score. And it's got his free dominations there. Yeah, more picks coming out for both teams there. Uh, uh, Jits team looking favoured. Uh, uh, I'd say hesitantly. Uh, obviously, no, the better spawns left. coming out in favour of red, but... It's not really much it's of a It's a really advantage. tall order here, but they have got on the heavy um, gate have, so maybe they could maybe just try and push out the sniper is potentially out of position here if he can get picked off by the scout. And he does in the end, so... Ruya is down, and that's going to be a push coming in oh, yeah, gate on the point. Yeah, legit dying as well. You can see Fire is just walking forward. Well, not walking forward. He's getting a lot of damage um, for his team. They'll get the cap here, but of course they have to like hold this for three minutes and get three yeah, more rounds so after this. That's the first cap coming out. Like, it's not unheard round. of. It's not unheard of at all, but it's going to be so difficult for them here. Yeah, I mean, they've got they've got Uber charge advantage. They could do. The oh, oh, hero! <laughs> Just as I speak. <laughs> oh. What the hell? It's cast as curse. Just on yeah, steroids that was, here. That was, that was a 98 Uber. That was as good as a drop from the spy. 
And, yeah, look uh, at this. They got so many frags. The Jits team just walking in. Bless comes in, gets the medic pick. He's still very healthy. Like, I mean, it's, it's Bless the again against the entire flank coming out here. The Pyro is denying his rockets. There should be a cap coming out from the Jits team. Yeah, just I NL just denying everything. And that is the second map going yeah. to legit. That's two maps and a best of five. So one more map to Legit's team and they win this series, am I correct in saying? I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I, I think I it's a win. So. I, I would guess that's the way it works. Um, and it's really an uphill struggle for Gate to try and get back into this game. Like, you know, we've, we've seen, like, Ness telling us about the chaos on Cough. Like, I'm really looking forward to the chaos on Steel. <laughs> it's the upset map. Steel is the upset map. <laughs> but like like no, we've seen how scrappy it's been. Like I know. I I've never really seen like a really scrappy game on Steel. Like maybe since like you know, season six Highlander when we had like teams holding A and having really good DM fights on A. Um well, I, don't, I don't know what to expect. Uh, uh, I think all my expectations like I've got nothing for them. Basically what they are gonna do on Steel, they are gonna like uh let some spy or soldier on A and try to drop their medic, but but the all the defense gonna be on B and E. Oh, so they're playing normal. That's that's that's, yes. that's, that's very standard. Um, we do have logs um, in it that we can look at here. Uh, I think it's uh, worth noting that uh, they're like just just look at the frags, like the flank on the side of gate are really, really doing a lot of job, a, a lot of work even. Um, it's very, very unfortunate. It's really, really strange to see a demo man getting almost 400 DPM and then going, getting six frags. Uh, you, like, it's very sad for fire. Well, you, I mean, you say that, but we had this earlier as well when we had our Strong Opinions fixture. We had Murphy going 4 to 18, but with 400 DPM. You know, I think, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's, I'll say what I said earlier, you know, I think it's a lot of the time on demo, it's... You can do lots of damage, but just get completely focused during fights. And so it just... Your damage just doesn't get followed up on either. I think that's what we're seeing a lot with Lightsey. You know, like we got Bless doing so much work on the flank here with um, his scout Flawless. Like, Flawless top fragged on the losing team in a 4-0 game. Yeah. Like, that's... That's, you know, again, that is that is unheard of. Yeah, he's he's got very high damage as well. Um... Yeah, look, looking at the damage tables, actually, like um, the pyro on red is doing a lot of work. It's just, it's just, it's only legit. And the spy, I, I, I did notice the spy doing a lot of work, but I, did, I never saw him do as much work as the logs would suggest. Uh, the, the blue spy hero, um, perhaps living up to his name, he's doing doing a lot of work. Twenty backstabs there. Uh, yeah, I think with, the, with with games this chaotic, I think spies really can pop off. Yeah. Just, you know, even even if your comms are good, when there's always someone walking into you, there's just there's just that chance of the spy just yeah. being behind you. Cap and A doing a lot of work as well. Uh, I, I, really a combo to be feared, to be honest. That that uh, Cap and A was uh, his timing on coming in during fights and all that was so good. He was doing a lot of work and uh, really supporting his demo and well when he needed it. Not that legit really needed it, mind you, <laughs> but. Yeah, you've, all, you've, you've almost got to feel sorry for you know the the combo of um, Sunit Crow and um, yeah they they had a real tough order. And... Like, but but again like Sunit Crow like even even with just the amount of dominance displayed he still got the same amount of frags as NL who was top scoring for the other team. And yeah. Like we have we have um, flawless like bless and Sunit Crow they are just as you know Ness said they are absolutely carrying their team. I think honestly, they're one of the one, they're one of the only reasons why they're winning these fights, along with um, Dot the Sniper. Yeah, they're certainly keeping them in the game. I, I I'd be interested to see. Like, obviously, Steel is a very big demo man map, um, so it's a real tough order for Fire to uh, to try to uh, to like you know win these fights and you know, rotating like into these positions that'll give his team an advantage. Uh, I think um, it's been clear that the control of the map so far has been legit's team. They've they've just they've just known how each fight was going to play. They dictated the game. Um, it's gonna be very, very hard for uh, for uh, Gate, I think. I mean there is one saving grace for Gate's team. Mm -hmm. Their heavy did go four twenty. Uh so, got the mean production value. 
Yeah. You know, it's all about the memes in this game mode, I reckon. Uh, I'm, not sure the, I'm not sure those stats are really worth, uh, <laughs> worth, <laughs> worth it, but... Uh, the stats are worth the wait. Are they? Okay. Yeah. The spy on B- the BLM, the spy didn't do that much work either. He was really struggling, um, despite the chaoticness. Uh, I guess, I guess uh, when you've got full control of the, the game like that, you're going to have a lot more time to check for things I mean, like spies. Es- especially when your pyro is going 24 and 7, you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's quite difficult for a spy to get in then. Yeah, I get, looking at the stats as well, um, P- Pepito getting twice the Ubers, more than double the Ubers of for less, a minute. Less than half a death as well. I think that's, that's just how it's playing out. I mean, he's getting his Ubers are proportional to his death count, and his death count was six to um, uh, the other medics 15, so yeah. going to get the proportional amount of Ubers, especially in a map where, like Asheville, where getting yeah. that Uber ride is so critical to having the point. Yeah, um... But I think I, I, the, the flank and the plate classes, you, like, you are right, they were so on top of the game. Like Every time Gate got an advantage, they would just get sniped or, or stabbed or just bombed or just whatever. And they just could not make a push happen. Well, that's, that's another thing. Something that we've noticed is the amount of aggressive Ubers being used when on Badwater. We're noticing the amount of Ubers being used in on the defensive side to try and get medics, um, like the medic picks. Um, and that isn't completely unheard of. Uh, it's quite common for teams to to like walk forward and um, and try and get like uh, for, like aggressive frags on the defensive side. But it's not that common to see on steel. I wouldn't have said. Yeah. Well, not... well, we'll see how it plays out, won't we? Yeah, I. I, mean, I, I... I honestly do not know what to expect after seeing that bad water game and, and Asheville as well. I've got no idea what's going to happen on steel. I, I can guess. I can guess that there's like, going to be a lot of defensive, aggressive <laughs> Ubers in a way. Uh, you know, aggressive Ubers from the defensive team. Uh, but I don't know. I, I say that it's legit's team that is on uh, on offense this time. So maybe the, the <laughs> maybe they won't even have the chance. Um, like, I'm going to like, predictions. Soon. Are we going to see an AE? Do you think coming out from legit? Ooh, I don't know. I think I, they'll try it. I have no idea whether whether it's like an A. I I could see. Well, I'm gonna. I'm, my prediction is gonna be an incredibly efficient alphabet push, as in an A B C D E push. I mean, maybe, they, maybe like, an A B C E push. Like, and like reminiscent of old Highlander, like we could maybe see like the classic one where we have like a team fight on both teams on A, and then like a drop down push from the attackers. Like, it's yeah. just... Um, there's, there's, that's the thing about Steel is that there's there's lots of ways that you can play the map. Uh, I think the main strategy of the legit team it's going A B E, A B E. Okay. Yes. Right. Uh, that's yeah. That sounds. I, I would have thought an A B C E, but it sounds uh, very aggressive. Anyway, I quite like I quite like the idea of ABE. Obviously, the difficulty there is um, getting your combo. Usually, you want to get your combo through to the, to white room to control the spawns, um, like through the uh, through right onto the the e spawn and try and stop them yeah, coming I, out. And then you've also got to control the connector going on to C. Yeah, I find a, a B is is a bit more difficult. Like with, with AE, of course, you have your the red team spawn is on the same side as the blue team's uh, attacking point. Usually, but with A B, of course, they th- those spawns are gone. They just all get back spawned. So it's a lot. I think you got to have a lot more coordination to do an A B than than an A E in, in, in some situations. Two, one. Yeah. Um. Obviously, if if you do manage to get those positions on uh on E, you can um. It's quite you know it's quite easy to uh. The yeah, pyro on A is taken out through, as well. But it's getting those positions. It's really hard. Yeah, it's not it's not unheard of to see a, a cap going like this straight onto A. No, most teams just give it straight up. Um, <laughs> Times eleven cap on because, A. Because yeah, <laughs> I mean, so they look like they want to go into many. white room. This looks like an AA. Yeah, uh, they're waiting for the doors to open. Um, the pyro here in uh, white room as well. Uh, it's not unheard of. Pyro's hiding here, going straight onto the trying to get the medic. But no, they don't. They don't even lose a player to that pyro. Yeah, it's an eco down again, and this is really huge for an AE push. If you've got no pyro to defend this connector, and again, oh, they almost went into the pit there, fire, and they haven't even popped it on the side of blues. This is really disastrous Uber for red team here. Gates are just getting taken out by the heavy Tommy Slav there, sniped down, and they've gotten players on B already as well, capping it up. 
it's just an engineer versus spy fight on B to maybe like get the last saving grace of the fight, and he does lose that fight. We have the pyro on here already, protecting this pyro on under, who just can't get any damage onto him, but he would take that by the scout in the end. There's only three players left alive for the gates defense here, and B, like, that's a that's a really good bait and switch there. B's just taken instantly. Yeah, it's very, very coordinated play. Something that I thought was quite strange is that there wasn't. It was only the pyro that chose to hold um, the flank uh, for uh, and make the the you know the push a little bit more difficult for Blue. Mm. Um, usually in Europe, you would see a scout and a soldier perhaps holding there, um, maybe not dying or trying their best not to yeah. die, just to get the information for the team. But um, it cost them the fight, I think, because I think if the, the, the way they they played that um, the Jits did, they were very vulnerable to a pyro blast from connector into the pit. Yeah. But of course, no pyro, no air blast, so they just survived that. And we have um, Gates trying to hold the connector down here. Uh, you can Actually, see legit yeah. is uh, he came from A side. Um, and it walks into Connector, into Wishbone, um, and you, you've seen this cap going onto uh, onto E. There's a rotation through under from Red. Yeah, and the U is forced as well um, from from Red. And the pirate like gets the heavy, and he pushes heavy into the pit. Huge place coming out from Sonicro, and he oh. very nearly surfed back onto the map. That was very unfortunate. I'm but, hoping yeah. that Crit's cast has the exclamation mark pit command. Oh, uh, so. that, was, that was a classic Blackout TV command, that was. Uh, <laughs> uh, two, two body shots from Dot onto the Medic couldn't quite get him off. Very So low, though, that Medic was in the end for Pito. We've got Fire waiting for his health pack under, trying to recontest E, maybe. But oh, the, but they've switched Heavy and Medic. Bazinga's playing Medic now, and Furnet's playing Heavy for game. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Um, oh, the fire has a huge pipe <laughs> on the scout there. Will, he yeah. will not die to the scout today. And, and it seems that, again, it was very very much the same thing they did to capture B, is they, they pressured E so hard um, to force uh, the rotate out, and then they just uh, flood onto the point. And you see another... Like, they're going through, they're, it's like they want to continue this alphabet push, going through um, a corridor... What I call death corridor because it's very dangerous to stand in. You see the sniper. Oh, he uh, misses the shot onto the blue medic. It's only yeah. the heavy that's with him, though. Yeah, and it looks like they're trying to rotate to right. And there's this, oh, this. If Mujet realizes where the medic is, he could. Oh, he doesn't. He just. Oh no, he does now. He's looking at the medic. He he gets it on the scout at least, and they're in a very bad position here. Um, gate army. The oh, the medic just takes 140 from the sniper and the spike. But oh. The spy, sadly, his button knife was met with an uber charge. Yeah, the uber, yeah. Well, I, I think he would have killed the medic. Yeah, he would have. Oh, oh the I'm... medic just walks across the point of the scout into just a fully buffed heavy medic combo. I mean, you're not going to win that fight at the best of times, let alone when it's just you two. And again, the, the cap's coming out, the range, they've got nine people up on E point. They've got Mujet in the window, just sniping anyone who tries to come through the window. It's going to be so difficult to contest this point. And that should, that should be GG. Yeah, it was only really the soldier trying to deny this point, but the pyro coming in, um, heavy trying to contest him under, but there's not going to be the damage to uh, force anyone off at the point here. Um, I don't think even Bless can save his team now. He might be able to get a jump out, but no, there's a pyro denying. That's 4 minutes 30. Good time. It's, it's, a, beatable time. it's a beatable time. It's a beatable time. I mean, but... You know, four minutes thirty for an alphabet is still pretty fast. It's, yeah, it's fast. Uh, I, I would guess we would see an A to E push here because it's the only chance in hell that I think Red has is getting some sort of upset through an A to E push. I think like, maybe if Gate try the um, the Super Dickman's e A E push where you have the teleporter up in heaven on the last point there, and the angle sentry and the sniper, and you have the connector locked down as well, that maybe could work. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sh like. It, you can certainly do an A to E push. Um, whether or not they managed it, I don't know. It's, it but takes like, a lot of coordination to, be, to I pull think that off. Because and Legit's team is so terri- like, they, they, they base their entire game around just taking a territory and just DMing their way, blocking their way through it. But if they can't take that territory, I think they will be exposed. Right. So I think if they can maybe block- like, that's what that's what A E push is about, it's about controlling We're the area. We're seeing combo members on A. Interesting. I think they were, like we, this was like when SNSD um, were like I think it was against Kill Switch when back when you know they got a 50 second time attacking or something because they thought oh well we've got you know two minutes to hold the entire point we should just defend E but then SNSD just walked through, walked through B side into E and right, just okay. capped it. 
So we've, we've had an Uber charge used to capture A with no red returning the Uber. Yeah. And they're giving up. They're giving up. Hey, they're giving up. I mean, that's, that's that's not what we we're seeing happening. I was half expecting a, a, an Uber from Red there. I I, I thought that the, the Uber would fade and the, the legit would think, go forward. But uh, I think maybe maybe the Jits team just brained them. I think they put all those players on A apart from the medic just to beat them into using. Yeah, well, the medic was there. He was he was just holding right at the spawn door. It was, wasn't really any risk to him apart from the spy. Um, there's a sniper versus sniper happening right now, which is very important to Blue taking control of White Room. Oh, and the, the Uber, Uber comes, comes out, out as well. And th oh, the medic. Early damage oh. to the medic and eventually gets backstabbed. Zynga's dead to the heavy and the spy, yeah? Yeah. And there goes any and chance the spy's on the push. medic. Uh, but yeah, that, that's a... Well, it's not... It's not oh, but the, oh still... the pyro at the end! So Sonic Crow once again surprising everyone in the end now, and he's going he's gonna to kill the entire team pretty Two much. Up. Two up. This is what you yeah. need for an ATE push. Is you need this sort of um, these sorts and of picks. Look, the look pyro, we got NG the pyro putting a sentry up. The connector here is going to be very, very hard for. We've got a level three anything. sentry going up from NG. This is this is their chance to take E. They lock down this spawn door. This is maybe yeah. the chance. The, 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 the classes that need to go in the capture point have just died for blue. Um, mm, that's unfortunate. Mostly, uh, most legit down as well though. But like we got the we got the fire locking down the spawn door as best he can. Heavy getting a tank of arrows. If they maybe try and go through to heaven, they could potentially get some ground Move here. But... Guy should to get a pick on to dot. And, and he, he does die to bless in the end though. And bless will try and maybe get some cat time. I'd like to see bless go pain train here, but he's still on the uh, on the pickaxe so. Yeah, I, I quite like to see the pyro going onto the point here because it allows him to deflect. He the needs spam. an arrow from his medic. Here. Like he's just getting t scorched shot it down. He will yeah. receive that arrow in the end. Oh, the pipe from fire will just deny that completely. That's. Uh, it was a good play from the spy mansion to uh, to follow up on it. There is crits creek on the side of red now, and they have very large advantage. Um. I, I, it's, I guess it fits the sort of play. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, the amount of play. That being said, they're going to have crits. Look at I'm this sentry, sure. it's so aggressive. They're trying to deny the the white room from connector here. Like, not even like changes to deny the point, deny the, the actual white room itself. Yeah, it's it makes sense. It makes sense, like, they've only got one oh, at 30. They, they, but now the they're taking advantage of this and they're taking the B point here. I'm, I'm sure the B point's going, like, going down, but is, are they gonna, is oh, that the going to matter? Oh, the coming out as well. Is it going to matter that they're losing B? They've got one minute twenty left. I think. Cap. I think honestly, maybe it will because they won't get those spawns close to E. If they can just get this cap really quickly, but they're not going to get it fast enough. I don't think. It, it takes forty-five seconds, I think, to capture E. We're, we're times three. Oh, no, no, it's forty-eight. Sorry, we're times three. Is it 40? But oh, it doesn't matter anyway because it's yeah. This is GG. They just had a huge like push in through B. And they haven't even capped the B point. Yeah. So it's yeah. I, I, I very much doubt that this pyro is going to manage to take this sentry gun fight uh, from White Room. So if they don't get anyone in the point, the punch uh, kill coming seconds. out from Capone. Yeah, that, that's uh, GG. I, I'm assuming this is a best of one. Yeah, it is. It's, yeah, it's, it's so. a stopwatch, so it's best of one. That should be legit's team. Yeah, that's legit's team one. Uh, Chapelier. Oh, cr and a, a bit of log padding here. Crits uh, getting six people with it. Yeah, Damn. like five or six. Oh, we have Wes here with his wrench <laughs> coming into spawn camp with it. See if he can get any wrench kills. Ah, oh, sadly not. But yeah, that'll be the Jits team winning the uh, the Capania. The, the, is it Capania? I can't remember the name oh, of it. Oh, my goodness. Chapala. Chapala, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that was um very, very interesting TF2 to watch. Yeah, I mean, it's just strange seeing so much aggression. Just constantly, like, there's no let up either. I have to say, it was a very valiant effort from Gate. Yeah. Um, they, they, they had a, like, they did not let up. They tried at every point to, to get, like, like, what do you call it? They the kept the morale hand. up. Yeah, yeah. They, they, I they, think, like, when they you get, kept going. When you get destroyed so hard on bad water, like, you know, not be able to push last and then just getting pushed in just, you know, two minutes onto, onto third completely. Like a lot of teams would just completely just tilt then, um, yeah, but they they kept they kept the morale up into going into coal plant, uh, coal plant into Asheville, and they they even though they lost that they still had a very valiant attempt into um, going into uh, steel and uh, the logs are just coming up now. Um, yeah, what do you think? What do you think of the uh, the logs? 
I'm just getting them up now. I want to see how um, Sonic Crow did. Yeah, I mean, the, the logs aren't really um, reminiscent of Sonic Crow's effort there. I think really, I like... Just, I, I have to say, like, yeah, the, the, um, Legit's uh, done a lot of uh, work there, uh, as expected, but Fire has actually managed to... Uh, do a lot of work as well. Uh, he, he was struggling a lot in the, la the last couple of games. He 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 snapped up for his team. Maybe obviously not enough to uh, to win, but I think he honestly, did a lot more work on that. Matt. I think it was, it was so pretty good. even for the demos. I think legit's like DPM was maybe a bit skewed at the end there by the by the crits while they were getting spawn count with twenty yeah, seconds maybe. left. Maybe. I think I think once you account for that, I think it was about four twenty DPM each. Yeah, I mean, if he kills six or seven people or something with crits, Krieg, um, that's about a thousand in damage, a, and that's in what, in it's one thousand. Game. Yeah, it's one thousand three hundred damage difference between the two. So, yeah, there you go. That's even demo fight. Yeah, um, I mean, Cap Capone like going twelve to five as well as heavy. Like that's yeah the, on the, steel. Yeah, Cap Capone was was very playing very well. Um, that pushed through to um, C to D, uh, really secure D for them uh, on when the, when. Uh, but how does it was do this? Like every every game, if you divide the medic from Gates team's deaths by two point five, you get Pepito's deaths. Last game it was six to fifty, and now it's three to eight. Uh, again, you're looking at the medic gun uses; it's uh, double, just over yeah. double. Like how do, how how does this man do it? Only three well, deaths as medic on still. I, I, I think it's just the way that they play. Like they play in a way they. I don't think uh, Pepito really likes sitting there with Uber Charge. If he's got Uber Charge, that that's something he can convert into killing the enemy team, and uh, that's the way that this team play. They really, uh, they, they really like using Ubers aggressively. That's, that's something that is uh, to be valued is having an, an objective for your Ubers, and it's something that uh, that uh, Legit's team did very well, and I think is one of the reasons that they won. Yeah, it's just like old TF2. I don't think we've got any interviews at the end here, so we'll. Um, I think we're just going to have to be rounding up here and just uh, congratulations to Legit's team for their victory in uh, today's tournament, and uh, commiserations, of course, to Gate. But uh, I think any, any any shout outs from you, Ballsy? Uh, I, I guess I'll give a shout out to V Clock since he was messaging me during that game. Um, oh, he was messaging me as well. I think V Clock is a true legend. Yeah. Uh, have you got any shout outs, Ness? What? You got any shout outs? outs? Anyone we'd like to shout out to before we end the stream? Uh, uh, can I like say this in Portuguese? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, Go sure. For it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, queria mandar um salve pro Dante que pediu para mim, man. Just that. All right. Oh wait, hold on. I've I've been asked uh, by Mitsuya to give a shout out as well. Uh, yeah, and shout out to Weethoft for uh, for producing this at uh, three a.m. Um, I'm going to be giving a shout out to any viewers of this who happen to be European watching this live at three a.m. Um, that that really is something to be proud of. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to Piney for being the classic god. Um, and a shout out to Police Squad for being the best team in Europe. As well as, of course, my final shout out of the evening will go to Jim Vickers. He is, he is the reason that I still play this game. He is an absolute god amongst men and a complete chad. So, thank you very much for watching this game of Critscast. We will, of course, be covering all of the Highlander action throughout the next week, as well as UGC Platinum tomorrow. Hi, old beaver! Away!